Our solar system has a lot of incredible objects in it, from giant gas planets with delicate rings to thousands of asteroids roaming around. But one thing it doesn't have is any planets that share the same orbit. For decades, we've thought this was technically possible, but we'd never seen any direct evidence of it happening out in the universe. That is, until now. New analysis of data from ALMA, which is an array of radio telescopes in the Atacama Desert in Chile, has revealed the first direct image of two planets at the same distance from a star orbiting it together. Before we get into this, hi, I'm Chris from the future. While I was editing this video that you're watching, there was a brand new JWST release about this exact system. Spoiler alert, using MIRI, the mid-infrared instrument, they found evidence for the presence of water in the inner disk here. This is awesome, and I'll leave a link in the description to more information about that. But this video is all about the awesome discovery of two planets in the same orbit. So I'll leave you with past Chris to hear all about that. The star system in question here is called PDS-70, and we've known about two planets orbiting it for a while. You can see them in this ALMA image, but we'll notice they aren't in the same orbit at all. The planet called PDS-70b is here, and further from the star is another exoplanet called PDS-70c. These are big orbits too. The star is very young, at only 5.4 million years old. It's 370 light years from Earth, and it has a mass of about three quarters the mass of our Sun. The planets B and C have wide orbits, at 3.2 billion kilometers and 5.3 billion kilometers respectively, which would put them either side of Neptune in our solar system. They're both a few times more massive than Jupiter and are likely to be hot, gassy planets. And PDS-70b was actually the very first confirmed protoplanet to be directly imaged. A protoplanet is just a planet that is still forming, a sort of planetary embryo that's still growing and developing into a planet. In fact, the whole ring around the star that we can see in a lot of these images is called a protoplanetary disk, which is a collection of dust, gas, and rocks that will eventually go on to form one or more additional planets around the star. Around 70C, we can see another kind of ring called a circumstellar ring, which is a similar collection of dust, ice, rocks, and gas, but around the planet itself this time. And this will go on to form a moon or moons for the planet. Now, after reanalysis of data collected by ALMA, we now have very compelling evidence that PDS-70b, the closer planet to the star, actually has a sibling. In this new image, there are now three bright spots instead of two around the star. This new bright spot is a cloud of debris, the same distance from the star as the planet, following the planet on the same orbit. Admittedly, this cloud might not quite be a fully formed planet yet, but if not, it certainly contains all of the required building blocks for a planet, and it will eventually become one. If this observation can be confirmed by another telescope or by follow-up observations, then this is easily the strongest evidence yet for two exoplanets sharing an orbit. What is especially notable about the location of the cohabiting cloud is that it resides in one of the Lagrange points of the PDS-70 and PDS-70b system. A Lagrange point is a special spot in a gravitational system, where two large bodies are influencing a smaller body. And there are five of these points in any arrangement like this. In the PDS system, the cloud is the small object and the planet and star are the large bodies. At Lagrange points, the gravitational forces of the two large bodies balance with the centrifugal forces and allow for relatively stable orbits. For example, the Earth-Sun Lagrange points are great places to put satellites and telescopes because they need very little fuel to maintain orbits around these Lagrange points. We currently have several telescopes at L2 right now, more are planned to go in the future, and several have been there before. The planetary body in the new ALMA image is exactly over the Lagrange point 5 for the system, and that more stable orbit has made it much easier for matter to accumulate here. And in fact, the cloud has a mass of about two times the mass of our moon. This cloud might actually have already formed into a planet, or it will in the future. And this is incredible evidence for exoplanets being able to actually share orbits. In our own solar system, the closest thing we have to this are objects called Trojans, over 12,000 asteroids that orbit the Sun in the same orbit as Jupiter. There are also Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune Trojans, with a little t. 
but no planet-sized objects share the orbit with any other planet around our sun. Around another star, we might call these objects exotrojans, but we've never had convincing evidence of them until now. This is all very exciting, and it gives the exo community great reason to keep searching for other trojans or planets sharing orbits in other stellar systems. If we see more of them, or even if we don't, we'll be able to start understanding better how common these things are, and maybe how they actually evolve as well. Follow-up observations will be needed to confirm this detection, and ALMA will turn its dishes back to the system sometime after 2026, when the planets and trojans will have moved enough on their orbit that we'll actually be able to tell if they really are on the exact same orbit. These are wide orbits that take a long time, over a hundred years for complete revolutions, so it will be a while until we can see them move a significant amount. Despite that, confirming this detection would be an enormous breakthrough for astronomy. I'll update you whenever we know more right here on the channel, so consider subscribing so you don't miss any news in the future. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!